large variety of conditions, including Parkinson's disease, essential tremor, uh, and other movement disorders such as dystonia. And I'm here to talk to you about that problem that is dystonia because we are in the middle of Dystonia Awareness Month. So dystonia as a condition is an abnormal positioning or abnormal movement of muscle. Dystonia, if you break down the words, means dys being abnormal, and tone, which is the resting state of muscle. So any condition that results in muscles either pulling or firing inappropriately or moving inappropriately can be related to dystonia. People classically think about dystonia in any environment where a muscle is either firing in, in, uh, in different ways to pull the body in a certain direction. Uh, the most common that people tend to know about is something called cervical dystonia, which is a pulling of the neck muscles either in one direction or the other. Uh, but the thing I want you to learn from this is that dystonia can be of many varieties. We have many muscles in our bodies, and, and if any of them are moving or pulling in a way that is disfiguring, just uncomfortable, or even cramping, it can be dystonia. Uh, there are many different ways that dystonia come about. Uh, neurological injury is one of the causes. If you have a stroke or MS or Parkinson's disease, uh, one of these symptoms related to it can be muscles pulling. Uh, there are a number of genetic dystonias. So uh, dystonia can run in families. If you think back to cervical dystonia, that pulling of the neck, there are certain families where people tend to, from generation to generation, have painful pain in the neck, pulling a little bit of a head tilt, or problems turning their neck side to side. Uh, and then finally, the other big cause of dystonia are medications. So a number of medicines we take, because there's no free lunch out there, uh, can, as a side effect of those medicines, result in dystonia. Uh, the important reason to identify dystonia or realize that it's a thing is because it's, it's a bell curve. And we tend to capture the very extreme cases very easily, but the vast majority of people have little symptoms that involve muscles pulling. The head's tilting, the hand is pulling, the feet are curling, the toes are curling, or the most common dystonia, which is writer's cramp, where people will write and the hand will cramp up and it will be difficult to write. It's important to identify it as dystonia because it is treatable. There are wonderful medicines which can help. Physical therapy, occupational therapy is absolutely key to getting better. And we can perform injections with Botox to actually make those muscles that are pulling relax. In the end, it's all about knowing what dystonia is, an abnormal pulling of muscle. It's about figuring out why it's happening, either because of injury, because of a genetic cause or medication, and then actually treating it. Because I find far too many patients with dystonia end up in orthopedic clinics thinking that it's part of age and life and an old injury, but in reality, it's a medical problem that we can treat. If you'd like to learn more about this or treatment options that are available, we'd love to have a conversation with you. You can find us online at www.inova.move.